Okay guys, now we are going to do some of the small breath holds while walking. For the purpose of the video, Adam's going to march on the spot. I'd like you guys to go for a walk here, whether it's out in the park or even up and down the front room, okay? This is a progression from the breath hold exercise sitting in the chair, so make sure you've given that a go first. And I want you to know that 10 seconds sitting in the chair is not going to give you 10 seconds walking. You have a different oxygen demand now that you're doing a little bit of exercise and you're producing more CO2 now that you've done a little bit of exercise. Instead of using seconds here on your watch, I want you to use steps. Breathing normally in and out through the nose, which should be something that we're working on walking at all times. We don't want to be breathing through the mouth. Breathing in and out normally through the nose, Adam. I want you to now hold that nose. And first of all, let's almost test it. Let's see how many steps you can do comfortably until your body tells you, hey Adam, open that nose and take a breath. When you do open the nose and breathe, it's quiet, it's gentle, you're doing your best to make it slow, okay? Remember, 10 seconds in a chair doing this probably isn't gonna give you 10 seconds out walking. How many steps, Adam? 14. 14 steps, okay? Continuing Adam's walk, imagine he held for 14. I'd like you to continue walking for 30 steps, 40 steps. You don't need to count your steps when you're resting, but remember the rest is almost the exercise, okay? The hold the nose for the walking, this is the easy part. This is getting you ready. This is rising the level of CO2 in your blood and you opening your nose and puffing and panting, this regulates and gets rid of that CO2 too quickly. These things are designed to increase and improve our tolerance to CO2, and we want Adam to breathe gently and quietly, regulate that CO2 a little bit slower, and in time, his body will get used to this. Let's try Adam, maybe 15 or 16 steps here if you can. So in your own time, on an exhale, this is still walking by the way. When you release your nose, don't stop. Try to walk at a normal pace, eyes forward, let your arms swing. The walk is normal, the walk is relaxed. You don't need to pinch your nose if you're out in a public park, but it is better. Reminding you, Adam, that this part now is the exercise. We want to try to find a number of steps that when we open our nose, we feel like we want to take a big breath. You feel a sensation of air hunger. Your body is asking you to do a little bit more in terms of breathing that you are, but you don't feel panicked. It is a challenge, but it is not panicked. Something like this, anytime you guys are out walking is fantastic, but for those that have practiced already the breath hold exercises in the chair, this is something that we can do to progress that. Again, in theory, 14 steps, Adam, will become 20 steps, will become 25, will become 30, and this is how we will improve our tolerance to that CO2 buildup in our body. This is very important and a very, very healthy thing to do.